Hey there amazing viewers welcome back to our main stack art series if you have been following along so you are for a treat with part 10 video right in this exciting episode we are diving head first into creating a robust login system using the power of main stack we will be combining mongodb for our database express for backend magic angular for the sleek front end and node.js to tie it all together so get ready to witness the magic as we are building an authentication masterpiece so in this episode you will learn how to set up a secure user login manage sessions and handle those plicky authentication challenges all right and hey if you have been enjoying this series so far don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and ring that bell notification your support fuels my passion to bring you more awesome content like this so if you have loving this what you are seeing then be sure to join our community so let's get ready to level up your main stack skills with part 10 of our auth series let's build some incredible login functionality together and please remember to thumbs up and subscription mean the world to me right so let's keep up the momentum going guys so without any further ado let's jump into the video at nine we have completed the registration form in angular and we have also seen how we have created that registration page by using tailwind css and by adding the validation by using form group and form builder and also we have seen how we have created the service and we have connected it with the node.js to do the registration okay so in this part we are going to focus on the login page if you see right we have this login page created so let's go on the login route and this is what we have right now so we will be creating something similar what we have did for the registration page as you guys have noticed that whenever i want to route to a different page i am doing it from this url right which is not a good way to do it okay so let's just fix this problem first so to fix that issue let's go in your vs code and here you have to go in your app route okay so as you can see that we have all our route has been created already in app route.ts so now we have to use all this route in your links so which is present inside your header component so let's go in the header component.html okay in that you will see we have all this pan tag created now we have to make all of them clickable so let's go here and we can make use of router link okay but to use router link we have to import first so go in your header component as this is standalone so we can directly do the import in this imports array let's import your router module yeah this one okay this is a mistake yeah, router module and once this is imported now you can make use of router link so this is router link and this should route you to login page if someone will router click Okay, if I create one more router link for register, so it will go to the register page. Okay, so currently we have to focus first on the login and register. So that's why we have added only these two. Later we will see how we have to add for cart and uh, welcome user and this logout. Okay, so logout will be pretty straightforward, right? Whenever people click on the logout button, it will route you to the login page. That's something like that we can do. But okay, let me just add it for now, but later we can remove it as per our need. Okay, let's save all the changes. And now if I go here, if I click on the register, I should see registration page. If I click on login, I should see the login page. Okay, so to create the login page, as you have already completed the register page with me, so we are going to use the same code base. So whatever we have did for the register, we will copy it all. So copy all the code what you have in register and take it to the login.html okay i'll tell you what what things we need to change so all you need to do is write so this will be very easy to do to be very honest so now we will see lot of error here so we will fix them one by one so once you have pasted all the code in login html then go in your ts file okay and you have to import reactive form module and uh, also we'll check if anything else is required yes this is done and now we have to create a login form okay so let's create a login form so also, if you want to save some time, you can directly go here and you can copy these three, which we will be using. So copy these three and take it in the login component and you can paste it here. Let's import all of them, whichever they are throwing errors. Let's import form builder. Let's import auth series, sorry, auth service and also import this router. Okay. All the important things are here. Again, I have to create this register, right? So I can copy all of these till here and I will remove as per my uh, requirement. So I'll go here and paste it here. Okay. Let's import this form group 
I'll import this validators as well. Okay. So for doing the login, right, I don't require all of those. I also don't require the validators and whatnot. So I have removed the validators. So I will only require, so I require only email and password. Okay. So I will remove rest of them and I'll just keep email and password. So let's remove everything from here. And also let's change the name to login form, not register. So let's change the name to login form and we can use the same here. So can you see in just less than two minutes, we are done with the login form part in the TS file. Now we all we need to do just update all of them. So what you can do by using VS code, you can click on this, just do control F over here and you just have to replace the register form with login form. So I can see there are 17 places where this is used. Just click on replace all and boom, all your task has been done. Okay. I can see there is only one error, which is this uh, method call. So whenever user clicks on the submit button, it should call login, right? Not register now. So I have created the login and I will create the login method here. So login. Okay. And now again on this login, I will just do a console.log just to check if my value is printing or not. So I'll say this dot login form dot value. All right. Now let's check here if there is any problem now. We have to remove a lot of things here from here. Okay. So what are those we only require? So we can remove this first name. We can remove last name. So let's remove these two first. Then uh, we can remove this username. It's not required. And this also we can remove. Okay. So let's remove this and let's remove this. Now the final what we need, we need email and we need password. That's it. So once this is done, all we have to change this register also to login. Okay. Save the changes save all the changes and now let's go on the browser and see how it looks. See, we have our clean look and login page also ready. Okay. Now this also we can change. So this we will change it to uh, new to book my book register here. Okay. So this is what we will create register here. All right. Let's save the changes and let's see what else we need to change. So new to book my book register here. So whenever I click on register here, it should take me to the register page. So for that, uh, what we can do, right? We can just use router link here, router link again to use router link. We have to first import in this imports array. So let's add a router module and now we can use router link. So router link pass the router, which is register, save the changes. Same thing we have to do for register component.html. Okay. So whenever people have to go on the login page, so he will have to go via router link again. To use router link first go and import the router module okay so once we import the router module we now can use router link and here we just put it as login now let's save all the changes and let's see everything in action how it works so now if i click on register here i i should go to the register page okay let me just see what is is there anything wrong let's inspect okay let's remove the warning it's fine all right so now whenever i click on register here Okay. I see some problem. Let's see. What is that? Okay. It says, okay, the spelling is incorrect. So we can change that. So let's change the spelling in that login component.html. So yeah, this was the problem. Register, save the changes. Now everything should be okay. All right. So let's click register here. I am on the register page. Click on login here. I'm on the login page. Okay. So this is done. Also, let's check if the validation is working. See validation also works even for the password, the validation works and this is uh, invalid. Okay. If I put something here and if I put some, yeah, the form gets enabled as well. Okay. So this way we have completed the UI part of your login. Okay. And I know it was very easy because you have did it completely uh, like in a very good way for the register Then it's very easy to do it for login. That's why I was saying that we will target the register first and then we will do for the login. Now just let's make some small, small changes, which I'm not liking. For example, this submit, right? I want to change it to login. And if I go in the register, I want to change that submit button to register and then we are all set. Okay. Then we are good with this UI. Okay. Now I want to give some margin top to this for actually for both of them. I think they are all stuck to this, like very much close to the header. So let me give a margin top so we can give it like this. So this margin top is two. I will increase it to five and same. I'll do for the login margin top as five, save the changes. Yeah, it should be 
okay now okay we have a good space now okay so now let's see how we can connect this with your api so our api endpoint is already ready so let's go in your service auth service what we have created and here we have to create the login service so let's create the login service and this will take your login obj of type any and just say return we can copy paste the same we just need to change change this this to login that's it and this will be changed to login object and login object is uh it has what it has just two things the email and password that's it okay so this is also ready now let's open up your backend and see if your backend is running yeah the backend is running fine now all i need to do just call this service in your component so let's go in the login component and let's remove this guy as we have already injected the auth service so we can use it here by saying this dot auth service dot login and in this pass the form object which is uh, this dot login form dot value okay this value is nothing but your email and password if you do a console dot log you can check what i am trying to say and then we just need to add a subscribe and in the subscribe we have the next handler which will handle the response for us if the login is success and then we have a error handler error object we say and this can handle your error and this we can just do a console.log by saying the error whatever error we have got okay now in the response what we will do we'll just add an alert that login is success and uh, after the login is success i want to route that guy to the home page so i will do this dot router okay this dot router dot navigate navigate it to home page by saying home and why i'm saying home because this we have already configured in your routes correct so we have this home which will load the home component where we say that welcome to book my book so let's go in the home component and change this by adding a h4 and say welcome to book my book okay let's change this to cap so that it should align and we need to add some class to it like text for lg for excel uh text center and margin top of 10 and we need to make it fold bold okay so why it is so easy for me because i already know css okay so because i know something in css so it's very easy for me actually to know all of this already okay can you see it is by inside there is some CSS written in the Tailwind, right? So that's what the thing. I will not support you guys to directly go on the Tailwind CSS. You should at least know some small fundamentals like about what CSS is, how CSS works, some basic idea. Then only I think I will ask you guys to jump to Tailwind CSS. Okay. So once I will save all the changes, let's see the login. Yeah, everything looks good to me. And also I will have to reset the form. So I'll say this dot form, which is login form dot reset. That's it. Now, if I save all the changes, let's go here. And I don't remember what I have added last time. So let's better try to create a new user. So I will give the first name as new user email as new user. Okay. I'll make everything as small new user at the rate gmail.com. Okay. A uh, username as new user. 03 password i will give one two three four five one two three four five okay i will copy this email because i have to do login later right so let's click on register so once i click on register user is created and i am on the login page by automatically i will say automatically <laughs> okay now we have to use the email and the password was one two three four five click on logout i can see login is success and see i am on the home page which says welcome to book my book and just see the guys how fast it is okay there is no load time nothing and this is what the beauty of angular is it's very fast okay it don't have to reload the page every time to go on those okay so in this way now we can see that we are able to come to the home page and that's what the login is all about okay so some subscriber was also asking me about shashi how can we do the two two step validation like two step authentication or otp validation something like that okay so let me just give you some idea to you guys so i will be creating something called as forget password okay and in my forget password i will show you how can we send a email to reset your password okay so you can use that knowledge in here like whenever i'm trying to log in so it will send a five digit otp to your email address and that otp you can put in the next page to verify it okay if you guys need that feature then do let me know in the comment section i will make make it for you 
Okay, just do let me know if you need that feature. All right. So I'll wait for your comment. Uh, so based on your comment, I will see if I need to add that uh, part in uh, in this auth series or not. Because anyway, we are doing it for forget password. So you can take that as a homework. It's all up to you. Okay, I'll just wait for your comments, guys. All right. So let me just show you one more thing about what this login actually does. So whenever I'm logging in the system, right? Uh, if I show you one thing in the in the application, go in this application and go in the cookies. Okay, so in this cookies, right, we will be storing our access token here. Okay, so that part is very important, which I will show you in the next video, like how we can attach the cookie, which is getting created in the backend in your browser. Okay, so that I will be explaining you guys in the next part. So that's it from this part where we have learned about how can we create a login page? How can we use this routing like how we can route by clicking on those buttons and, and and all and also we have seen like how to route if the login is success to the home page okay so that's it from this video if you guys have loved this video then please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and again if you have any doubt or any question related to this part though please mention them in the comment section as well i will be there to help you guys Okay, so till that time, bye bye and keep learning guys.